hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's weekly check-in video so for today we are going to take a look at all of the transactions that took place within this past week kind of see where we are at with groceries and gas and all that fun stuff so let's go ahead and get started first off I wanted to mention that I am currently using an iPad Pro this is the 12.9 inch iPad I really love this particular size for filming I feel like it just I don't know looks better <laughs> it's easier to zoom in and all that fun stuff and then I also have the second generation iPad pencil the actual budget tools that I am using are from my Etsy shop which I have linked down below so I used the kit 21 budget inserts and then this is the prosper you planner hub and I have my budget currently housed in the notebook section of my planner hub but that will be changing um yeah i'm super excited to share the budget add-on with you guys it's going to be released next week and i am super excited i have the inserts done i have the add-on itself done now i'm working on stickers and just a little spoiler alert you will have the budget stickers are going to have 70 different color options <laughs> so anyways um i just finalized the color scheme and now i'm getting started with making stickers and it's been a blast so i'm really excited to share everything with you guys but let's go ahead and take a look at our bills one thing i did want to update here real quick is that the ortho payment did come out this morning i just saw that I'm trying to get back in the habit of tracking transactions first thing in the morning it just makes it like way less overwhelming I feel like that way so as soon as I sign on for the day I check transactions I check my Etsy messages and then we're good to go but as far as bills are concerned everything that should have come out by now has come out so that is great and then taking a look at our weekly check-in let's go ahead and turn images off since we're working with an insert and we will copy our categories paste them here and then we'll take a look at our transactions for the week so going on over to our spending tracker yeah we have quite a few grocery transactions so I personally like to color code I've got my key down here so everything in pink is grocery yellow is gas orange is household green is eating out and red is unbudgeted so I just take my highlighter tool in good notes and put a highlighter through all of the transactions so I'm able to see easier at a glance you know what is what so we're going to track all of our grocery transactions first starting with Costco for $29.46 and then we also have one at Fry's for $7.38 and Walmart for $112.94 Fry's for $48.98 and then we got a bunch of coffee stuff from Amazon for $41.46 so that's a grand total of $240.22. Andrew just told me that he needs to go to Costco today. So, um, yeah, I think you all know how I feel about Costco at this point. But, I mean, I love Costco, don't get me wrong, but I feel like we go there way too much. But, you know, I don't know. What we're doing works in a sense because we eat everything that we purchase but at the same time I feel like it really chews up our grocery budget and it gets a little frustrating for me. I was just telling Andrew last night we were going over budget stuff and I told him that, you know, I personally like really want to get more involved with grocery shopping and meal planning. Like that used to be my thing. I was the one who did all of the meal planning, all the grocery shopping, and I personally really enjoy it. Okay, so a grand total of 240.22. So we'll write that in in our spent column here. I cannot wait to start using the budget insert for weekly check-ins. Oh man, you guys. I think you will love it. I, I hope you will, but it's quite different from what you see here. I will tell you that much. <laughs> so we have a total of 166.85 remaining, which is not very good because I believe we have at least two more Saturdays. Yeah, we have two more Saturdays left in the month. So 
and if Andrew's going to Costco today, then that's going to be interesting. So we'll see what happens with that. Andrew's thing with Costco is that he likes to have extra on hand at all times, which I totally get, but I don't know. I feel like that's not in line with like the grocery budget we have set, if that makes sense. Like if we're going to really stock up all the time like that, like we need to increase our budget because otherwise it's just going to continue to be frustrating that we're not sticking to our budget. Um, but then like, I don't know, it's just, it's a balancing act. It really is like we have a deep freezer, we have a garage fridge and like we like to have backups of things and all that kind of stuff. Andrew's always been like that. He's always really liked having like extra on hand just in case. I know I used to watch and I don't remember, I think it was Debt Free Mom or something like that or Debt Free Mama. I don't think she posts videos anymore, but I remember she used to stock up and she would look at what was on coupon and she wouldn't like buy a whole bunch of bulk stuff. She would go to the normal grocery store and if like, you know, a pork roast or something like that was on sale, then she would buy an extra one and just do like one for now one i think the rule of thumb is like one for now one for later is what she used to say i think it was debt free mama i don't remember exactly but anyways so i feel like something like that might work a little bit better than just going to costco and constantly getting like all this stuff but i don't know let me know how you guys work it if you keep bulk food on hand how do you manage that do you go to costco and stock up that way or do you kind of pay attention to what's on sale at your normal grocery store we do pay attention to the coupons that are available at costco at costco i'm sorry i have my invisalign in and i feel like i get so tongue-tied sometimes but yeah so let me know how you guys work that all right, and then for household, we have one transaction just for diapers, and that was for 45, 40, or 45, 56. I'm happy to say that Julia is doing better and better with potty training. She's having nearly every potty like incident in the potty now. So she doesn't go in her diaper very much anymore. I think we're gonna completely switch her over to undies during the day. And then at night, she'll still wear a diaper for a little bit and everything, cause she still wakes up with pretty wet diapers throughout the night. So, and we do limit like their liquids and stuff like that before bed for the most part. But I remember we did the same thing with Maddie until she was, I wanna say, like four or something like that she wore a pull up at night just in case and then as soon as we noticed that she was waking up with dry diapers then we started you know letting her go the night without them so i think we're gonna do the full switch over to undies pretty soon with jewels we just need to go out and buy some so yeah that's exciting so 45 56 for household and sorry that i'm kind of sniffly my allergies this morning are kind of crazy and I took the puppies out for a walk and I feel like after that my allergies like were just really bad um, 133.86 is what we have remaining 133.86 so that takes care of household we're doing really really good with household eating out uh, we went to like a family fun night at Maddie's school and they had a bunch of food trucks, so we picked up dinner, just some sandwiches while we were there. And then we also went to our most favorite bakery and picked up coffees and then pastries for the girls and stuff like that. And that was $22.36. So that takes care of eating out. And that is a grand total of $51.16. Last week we had 92, is that right? Yeah, 92.81 remaining. So we have 41.65. So that's good for like, you know, one more meal out, which is pretty good. I know this weekend we are, well, Maddie has a birthday party on Saturday night, so we're probably gonna do something easy then because it'll just be Jules and I at home. And then Sunday, we have neighbors of ours coming over. We kind of exchange like dinners. We had dinner at their house a couple weeks ago and then they're gonna have dinner at our house and all the kids play together, it's really fun. So they're gonna come and have dinner with us tomorrow night. And then we, next weekend, 
What is next weekend? The 28th we have something going on. But now I don't remember what it is. <laughs> Um, but I know Sunday we're gonna have brunch with my family. They're gonna come over and we're gonna do brunch. And then, oh, that's gonna drive me crazy. I feel like we had something going on Saturday. But I don't remember what it was. So anyways, as far as eating out's concerned, I have a feeling we'll probably just eat out at church or something like that because we have a bunch of different things going on um, with family and friends and stuff. So for gas, we did not need to fill up, which is great. And I think our tank is still pretty full because we haven't really been doing a ton of driving. So we have 71.40 left in gas still. And then we also did not have any unbudgeted expenses. Always a good thing. So that is good to go there. So that's where we stand currently with our variable expenses. And then we'll pop on over to sinking funds and I will update you guys on what's been going on with all of that. So, the puppies, if you guys can see, I think we left off where I got book of the month. So the puppies chewed up our fire stick, like the actual remote, so we had to replace that, and that came out of miscellaneous. We picked up more treats for the dogs. We have been running through treats pretty quickly because we're leash training, and I feel like leash training is going okay. I honestly feel like I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I watch YouTube videos on leash training and then I take the dogs out and I try to replicate what I saw on YouTube and it just like never goes the way that I see it on YouTube. So if you guys have some tips for leash training, let me know. For the most part, they do okay. Um, I feel like Mando especially is really good about not pulling. Kara gets very excited. She loves, loves, loves her walks, like loves them. Mando's just chill about absolutely everything under the sun. Like he is just calm and that's just how he is. Like even during bath time and stuff, if Andrew takes him out to give him a bath, he just kind of sits there and he's like, yeah, go ahead, you know, bathe me. Kara freaks out. It's just Kara is much more high energy. So Anyway, so yeah, if you guys have any tips for leash training, definitely let me know because I feel like, I feel like it's going, like I said, okay. Like Mando does really good about not pulling. At some moments, Kara will do good about not pulling, but they do really good when Andrew takes them at night. So I take them in the morning for their morning walk. Andrew takes them at night. We can't really walk them in the middle of the day anymore because it's too hot. So I take them really early in the morning and then Andrew takes them after the kids go to bed. And I feel like their nighttime walk usually goes a lot better for them because there's less distractions and stuff like that around. So in the morning when I take them, that's usually when everyone else is walking their dogs and kids are going to school and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, again, I need help. <laughs> so definitely let me know if you have like a tried and true method or a resource you recommend or anything like that would be much appreciated. But we picked them up some bulk, like a ton of treats. We got them the blue buffalo low calorie treats. So they're treats that you can give in a higher vol volume because they're lower calorie and they're kind of chewy, which the puppies really like. So we got them beef and chicken flavored of those. And that was 30.33. I picked up some earplugs because Andrew has been snoring really bad lately. And yeah, it's been a kind of affecting my sleep a little bit. So I picked up some earplugs. So there you go. And then I picked up some new water bottles for the girls, some nicer like thermo like stuff that will keep their water nice and cold because in the summertime I swear you cannot get enough water in Arizona in the summertime and I wanted to get them larger water bottles that would stay colder and be filled up longer and give them more water to drink and all that kind of stuff so they picked out Maddie got a unicorn one and Julia got a mermaid one and they love them so that was that and then on this page over here on Sunday, Andrew had kind of like a guy's day, and so he went golfing with friends, and then they went to the sports bar, and he got some drinks and burger and all that kind of stuff and watched the god-awful Suns game. <laughs> Their seventh game was so bad. It was so bad. So, yeah. But he went out and just kind of had a whole day to himself, which I feel like was much needed for him, and he really enjoyed himself, so that was great. And then I got my lashes filled on Monday, 
we had to pay some medical bills so oh goodness the medical bills you guys i was really stressing out about this last night i was really stressing out because i just our our medical insurance is so bad so i went on to cigna it's with cigna i went on to their website and I was like, I'm just kind of curious, what is in network, what's out of network and all that. And I totally take responsibility. I did not do enough research on what's in network, what's out of network and all that. So I was like, okay, let's find an in network pediatric dentist for the girls. The closest one is a 40 minute drive away. We do not have a in network dentist anywhere near us for the kids. For Andrew and I, there's a couple options, but for the kids, not so much. And then, like, I went to go look at some of our bills. Like, just nothing is in network. The, the options for in network is just so incredibly limited and, like, far away and inconvenient and ridiculous. So, I am going to need to really do a lot more research in the fall once enrollment opens up again to change plans and find a better plan. Andrew and I talked about him going back to Costco as well because they said he could go back like pretty much anytime he wanted. But I don't think we want to do that until Julia is at least in preschool and we kind of want to see how that goes, how many days she's going to go and all that kind of stuff. And then the thing with Costco is sometimes the hours can be really bad. Like, you know, Andrew will have to work really late nights or things like that and we, really value our family time quite a bit so we'll see the other option was that we talked about andrew going to work at a golf course and they probably wouldn't have health insurance options but he could at least make enough to pay for health insurance and then that would get him out of the house a little bit and he would also get free golf which would be pretty huge so we'll see what we end up doing um the hours would be better for that too because with golf usually when he used to work in golf he would go like around five or six in the morning and then be back by like noon so the hours are not nearly you know as bad as costco costco can be kind of crazy sometimes so anyways we'll see what happens but i was real frustrated trust me last night with the medical bills so i had to pay for my surgery that's coming up on the first of june i had to pay in advance so that was one thousand six hundred fifty three dollars another ear tubes bill came in for julia i feel like they just trickle in so i put a little ug <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard Jules laugh just now. <laughs> she has the best laugh. Um, so yeah, I put a little UGG next to that. The test I had to have done prior to my surgery was not in network, so that was $550. I'm happy to say that originally when the insurance was billed, it was like $2,700, and then they brought it down to $550, so that was good at least. And then what we did was we had a little over $1,600 sitting in car repair and replace. We decided to just transfer what we needed over to medical. So with what we had in medical already, and then plus this, we're now at a zero balance with medical. I will have to pay some medical expenses in June for the surgery. I'm going to have to pay for the um, anesthesiologist. I'm also going to have to pay for whatever bills from the hospital. It's an outpatient surgery, so that at least shouldn't be too bad, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, so we transferred that over to medical, and then I added, if you can see here in green, um, I added like a deposit to medical. So that's the way that we did that. We figured we just don't really drive our car much. Granted, our car does need some work done to it pretty soon. It needs like some flushes and things like that. But we still have a little over $100 in car repair replace. It'll be a while before we have to take it in to get serviced again. So that gives us time to save up money. And I didn't want our medical fund to be like super, super negative. So that's the way that we handled all of that. But yeah, so anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this weekly check-in. I hope that you all found it helpful. I really, really, really cannot wait to share the budget add-on with you guys. It's very exciting. I will tell you the inserts are very different from what you see like traditionally and what I have available now in the shop. They're very different and I'm personally just so excited. I'm really excited 
for the landscape option, for the dark mode option. There's gonna be a lot more options with them, and yeah, I hope you guys love them. So I'm excited to finally reveal everything to you guys next week. Again, I'm just finalizing the budget stickers and then um, I need to put the listings together and that's pretty much it and film like a new releases video. So I think the new releases video will probably be up Wednesday next week. I think that's what I'm aiming for is Wednesday. So yeah, stay tuned for that. That'll be super exciting. But if you guys have any questions, comments, of course, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how May is going for you guys so far. We're officially over the halfway mark. How's it going? Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys on Saturday for our digital plan with me for the week. All right, I'll chat with y'all later. Bye.